under the green at that time. Jeff Andretti. Jeff Andretti catches the wall. This time, several laps back into the green flag. Driving A.J. Foyt's car. Whoa. Gary Bettenhausen, and Gary who just well. talked about his run, a fine run. Look Cut at the short. tire on the left, still rotating, still rolling down the track. The debris is still early. Gary Bettenhausen. There's his car. He's failed to finish 15 of his 20 Indy 500s. The tire finally rolls to a stop from 200 miles an hour. And exactly 20 years ago, Gary Bettenhausen almost had this race won. Small problem right near the end really robbed this man of being a winner of the Indy 500. Gary's car doesn't look too bad. The left front has been a little bit, and he shouldn't have many problems. He has problem getting out because his left arm doesn't work too good. He From a prior good. accident. Right. Yeah, yeah. He can he can still drive good with it, though. It doesn't bother him a bit. Doesn't look too bad in terms of uh, a little easier to repair and not much damage to Gary, but that car is out of the race. Another look at it, Bobby Unser. Now, just violently, Boy. violently. Boy, Jeff. Looked like a wheel was off the car before the car started spinning, and Jeff really caught the wall hard. Gary Bentonhausen was behind the accident. Now he's talking with the crews on how they're going to hook his car. Boy, those were both Lolas. 27 Lolas started the race and the... Now watch, watch, watch. See, that wheel's already yes, gone. Yeah, the right rear came off of that thing. It happened so fast. I didn't catch it a while ago, but watch as it goes around there. There is no right rear. There's the right rear rolling down the track. Now, that's about the worst tire you could lose because the rear end is going to come around when that happens. But, Bobby, aren't there supposed to be locks now to prevent that? Well, Paul, there are, and I really can't explain that. That's a head-on crash. Uh, that's, that's, that's a bad hit right there for Jeff. Same angle PK hit at. Uh, and just the a tub bad heavily bad. damaged. But you're right. The wheel, even if the, the nut that holds the wheel on were left loose, Paul, there's a safety lock on there yeah. that should prevent it from coming off, and I can't answer that one for you. And once again, the safety crews who have worked far, far too much today are huddled around another car, and this time it belongs to Jeff Andretti. It's an A.J. Foyt entry. Mario Andretti's youngest son. Yep. 12 cars have been sidelined by accidents, and we're just past the halfway point in the Indy 500. So a race riddled with accidents and a very strange start. We'll be back. Out on the track as the field works under caution past, the safety crews work still trying to cut Jeff Andretti out of A.J. Foyt's car. Jeff started this race as a teammate to A.J. Foyt. By the way, this accident moves A.J. into the top 10. Bobby Unzer, look at it again. Maybe we can figure out why Gary Bentonhausen got involved. Yes, well, you see, that's Jeff Andretti. Boom, right head on into the wall, really bad. I think probably the hub broke on the right rear. I doubt that the safety deal, the safety lock, lock came loose. But now you watch that tire bouncing, and it bounces to the left. We'll see another shot of it here in just a moment. Report, by the way, the update. I'll give it to you while we watch Now there's this. Jeff hitting the wall head on. There's the tire going around. It bounces. It comes back. Now watch that tire when it comes back down, and it shoots to the inside of the track. Gary Bettenhausen runs into it, hits his left front on it, and that's what put Gary out right there. There you can see the debris from Gary's car after the tire hits it, and he catches the inside wall. The report from the safety officials here is that Jeff Andretti is conscious, and they're just taking their time, being very careful at this moment, cutting him out of that car. But you know, we've got two Andrettis right now.